The Convair X-6 was one of the boldest and most ambitious experimental aircraft projects of the early Cold War, born from the desire to develop a nuclear-powered strategic bomber capable of remaining airborne for days or even weeks without refueling. The project was part of the broader United States military initiative to explore nuclear propulsion for aircraft, a vision fueled by the potential for unmatched endurance in strategic aviation. The origins of the X-6 trace back to the nuclear energy for the Propulsion of Aircraft Project, initiated by the United States Army Air Forces in May 1946. In 1951, NEPA evolved into the more focused Aircraft Nuclear Propulsion Program. Under the ANP, Convair received Project MX-1589, which aimed to modify two existing B-36 Peacemaker bombers, one for shielding experiments and one to serve as the prototype X-6. The X-6 was envisioned as a large B-36-sized aircraft powered by four General Electric X-39 nuclear turbojets, essentially modified J-47 engines that used heat from a P-1 nuclear reactor instead of combustion. These engines were intended to power the aircraft during crews while conventional jet engines would be used for takeoff and landing. However, the technical and safety challenges of such a configuration were staggering. Among the biggest concerns were the massive weight of the onboard reactor and shielding, the difficulty of safely handling a radioactive aircraft on the ground, and the risk of radioactive contamination via the engine exhaust in a direct cycle system. Before building the X-6, a test platform was created, a heavily modified B-36H, serial number 51712, that had previously been damaged by a tornado. This aircraft was first redesignated XB-36H and later NB-36H, becoming known as the Nuclear Test Aircraft. It carried a 1-megawatt air-cooled aircraft shield test reactor within its bomb bay, not to power the aircraft, but to study the effects of radiation on aircraft systems and to test crew shielding. The cockpit was protected by a 12-ton shield of lead and rubber, and its windows were replaced with 6-inch, 15 centimeters thick acrylic panels. Between September 1955 and March 1957, the NB-36H flew 47 test missions over remote areas of Texas and New Mexico, logging 215 flight hours, with the reactor active for 89 of those hours. These missions were closely supported by escort aircraft, including ones with paratroopers prepared to secure crash sites if needed. The NB-36H remains the only United States aircraft ever to fly with an operational nuclear reactor on board. Simultaneously, General Electric advanced nuclear propulsion technologies through the Heat Transfer Reactor Experiment Program. The HTRE-3 reactor notably achieved the first all-nuclear turbojet start, offering promising but ultimately insufficient proof that airborne nuclear propulsion could be feasible. The challenges remained immense miniaturizing reactors, preventing radiation leakage, and ensuring adequate reactor cooling, both in flight and on the ground. Despite notable progress, the practicality of the X-6 project continued to erode. Concerns over safety, costs, estimated at $7 billion for the entire nuclear aircraft program, and engineering limitations were compounded by strategic developments. The rapid advancement of intercontinental ballistic missiles and thermonuclear warheads provided a more reliable, less hazardous, and more immediate long-range strike capability. Although President Eisenhower's administration curtailed funding in 1953, some aspects of the ANP program continued until 1961, when the entire nuclear aircraft project was officially canceled. The NB-36H was scrapped in 1958, and while a special hangar had built at the National Reactor Testing Station in Idaho for the X-6, neither the X-6 airframe nor its engines were ever completed. Today, some of the experimental engines and components survive on display at the Idaho National Laboratory, standing as relics of this high-stakes experiment in aviation history. The Soviet Union pursued a similar path with the 295 LAL, another bomber modified to carry an onboard nuclear reactor. Like the United States, the USSR concluded that the benefits of nuclear propulsion were outweighed by the technical difficulties and risks. Though the Convair X-6 never took flight, it remains a remarkable testament to Cold War-era technological ambition. Its story illustrates not only the vast potential of nuclear power, 
but also the profound challenges of adapting such energy for use in the skies.